Good morning, brethren, and praise the Lord. We welcome you to our series of a daily encounter as we continue with the reflections in the book of Acts of the Apostles. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we are grateful for the opportunity of to sit down at your feet to learn your word. We pray as we reflect that you may speak to us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, we are in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 22, beginning from verses 1 to 21. This is the theme of Paul's defense and address to the masses. Paul sets the pace here by addressing the same crowds that had beaten and bruised him. The crowds must have really been silenced by the utmost courage from Paul, the manner in which he takes ground and sets silence, an atmosphere of love, grace, and poise. This can be truly imagined here. He introduces himself and the region which he comes from, and also to the astonishment, puts it squarely how he was a staunch Jew utterly driving out Christians from their homes and persecuting them by mercilessly working out every faith-based believers of that particular time. He was a man who uh, directed the people to stone Stephen as we can see it in Acts chapter 9, chapter 8, whereby Paul himself was amongst those that were in that particular scene where St. Stephen the Messiah was being stoned. So Paul indeed had had a history of becoming a persecutor of a church. He had a stretch of intense enmity with the early church believers and apostles. This though did not deter his conversion as it puts it in this particular chapter. In verses 5 of this particular chapter he says that was on his mission to persecute the church believers and apostles he met with the Lord Jesus Christ himself and on his way to Damascus he encountered the saving Savior. A believer of the same good news he turned into, a person who was persecuting the believers, but now was commissioned to herald the same word that he had been persecuting. What a turnaround. Indeed, we can see that through Ananias whom God sent to baptize Paul and also to commission him to spread the same word of God that he had been persecuting, was instructed to go to his home so that he would heal him of his blinded sight. This was the beginning of Paul's journey of speaking and preaching the word of God. This is what Paul was trying to say in his defense. That he utterly knew everything that concerned the law of Moses. And he himself as a Jew adhered to the same from the times he was a child. He had been brought up by great teachers of the law. That like one Gamaliel whom he sat under his feet to be taught the law. And therefore, Paul's speech to the masses was trying to tell them that this particular law that you accuse me of going against, I know it from my own trail of childhood. And therefore, we can see that Paul can be likened to Phinehas, whom the word of God says in Numbers 25 verses 13, 
was what we would call a model of even killing them who would defy God, the God of Israel. He tries to argue out that is Paul, that he was known by the same people whom he lived with, transacted persecution, and would not even listen to the believers while they had their plea for them not to be persecuted. This must have left many turn a roof the pallet since he was truly a Jew from his address to them. He was not going to allow such an encounter of being beaten and bruised to cow down his passion to spread the gospel of the same Christ that had converted him and had also commissioned him. What is our take home brethren? This should be the same resolve we must make even when high end tide ride against our cause to love, serve, and live for Christ. This is truly the passion for the sweetest name in Seraph's song that should be made known to many. And as the words in Proverbs chapter 18 verses 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth to it and are safe. The promise is profound and powerful. The place of safety can only be found in the name of the Lord. Every person eventually faces times of desperation and trouble, but the Lord sails us through it all. And Paul is a good example from his defense and also from his address to the masses. May the Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day.